South Korea's three mobile carrier companies have each come up with safety drones that can contribute in saving lives in numerous accidents. The new drones provide information that previous technology was unable to fetch and can squeeze into deeper and more dangerous zones where rescue workers can't physically reach. Cho sang reports. Korean mobile carrier LG U Plus has unveiled a new safety drone. It runs on a new quasi-autonomous system connected to the company's cloud-based telecommunication platform. This enables the vehicle to fly to a designated location without a person directly controlling it in real time. While on its way, the drone can send live visual feeds and other data directly to the smart control tower thanks to an embedded modem. One of the many specialties of the smart drone control service is that it allows us to fly and operate drones out of visible range. With its new features, the drone is expected to provide help in sectors such as logistics, transportation and public safety. Telecom giant KT also has a new safety drone, which would be useful in areas including marine safety and combating illegal fishing. An unmanned vehicle dubbed the Skyship is designed to serve above the coastlines and the ocean. The drone carries basic first aid kits that can be delivered to rescuees from midair and also has LTE and 5G network modules which enable it to shoot back real-time data to marine rescue bases as far away as 200 kilometers from land. SK Telecom, meanwhile, has signed a partnership with fire headquarters in Kangwondo province in November as its new safety drones are a good fit for rescue operations in mountainous regions. The drone industry is projected to be worth more than $12 billion by 2023. With advanced telecommunication network systems making a substantial impact in rescue work, even more enhanced technologies involving robots and AI will be commercialized in the years to come. Cho Sung-min, Arirang News.